Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another TJ Maxx haul for all of you guys. I actually went to the TJ Maxx in Fond du Lac because I had gone to the one in Appleton and I knew someone who went to the one in Oshkosh and they just didn't have what I was looking for. Um, I did pick up some things actually in the Appleton um, one. I did a TJ Maxx haul before. But anyway, so this one in Fond du Lac, the total equaled $33.95. And I only got a few things. Um, but I just love going to TJ Maxx because you just, you never know what you're going to find. And it's usually the times that I go where I'm not really looking for anything in particular that I always walk out with something. So excuse Snuggie, I just did her hair and then she decided to dunk her face in her water dish. So of course I mentioned her name and she is just ready to jump in the back of me here. So we'll let her do that. There she goes, and she's going to go on her little her little blankie there and just sit down and kind of watch me record. So anyway, um, yeah, where should I start? So let me start out um, by showing you guys this bag. I love buying these bags because I shop a lot at Aldi, and at Aldi grocery store you need to carry your own bag and bring your own bags. But um, TJ Maxx has these gigantic, ginormous, huge bags for 99 cents and I picked this one up it's got all the cute little doggies on it it has a Pomeranian a French Bulldog a boxer and then a golden retriever and then um down here it's got the Chihuahua the Rottweiler the Cocker Spaniel and the Border Collie and then um here it's got a pug a corgi a Yorkie and a beagle I thought that that was really cute although they don't have Shih Tzus. I still thought that it was adorable and it was the pink and the black and the brown and the white and I love these colors together. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to be keeping this in my trunk um, for desperate times, whatever desperate times I'm going to have. Um, anyway, so next um, I went into the beauty section and uh, the beauty section at um, Fond du Lac TJ Maxx is not as big as the one in Appleton. And it's so weird because the TJ Maxx in Fond du Lac is just a TJ Maxx standalone store. The one in Oshkosh is also just a standalone store. But the one in Oshkosh, their beauty section is a lot bigger. And then the TJ Maxx in Appleton, which is also a home goods store, that one is kind of smaller as well. So I don't know. I mean, I guess it just kind of depends on where you go and what they have at the moment but um I did find a body shop body butter and this one is in the fragrance passion fruit love this one um I can't remember if I have one of these in my stash or not or if I just finished one of these up but when I see these body butters you guys I grab them um usually they have the scents that I'm looking for the fragrances but this one smells so good and nobody dipped their finger in it. That's another, you know, thing that you should do because the Body Shop Body Butters, they don't use any type of packaging on the inside to protect the product. Always, always, always before you purchase, open it up and make sure that nobody stuck their finger in it because I cannot tell you guys how many times that that has happened. So this I got for $5.99. And then I went into the stationery section and I am a sucker for anything peacock related. Um, I just love peacocks. I love the color of the peacocks, the blues and the purples and the teals and the greens. So I did find these three journals. Um, these were $4.99 and they look like this. It comes in this wire twine here, not wire twine. What is this called? This twine like hey twine I don't know what it's called but anyway so there's three journals here in one um but this company is punch studio and if you guys remember a long time ago I was literally obsessed with stationery by punch studio in the peacock um theme but this is what they kind of look like here so you've got the blue peacock the purple peacock and then this one is just kind of like a florally um you know type of design i don't think it has a peacock on it but anyway three journals for 4.99 i did not think that that was a bad deal um and then i went into the candle section and 
First, actually, I went into the clearance candle section and I found this little guy here. This is by DW Home and I've never seen these before. It came in this box here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. And it is gold and almost like a very, very light pink, but it is velour and it just says fine quality number four vanilla spice elegantly fragranced hand poured candle and it's got gold and then you open it up and the candle is inside and it is just in this basic white little candle thing here um and then the inside is silver and it smells amazing it smells just like vanilla mixed with chai tea latte is what it is it smells so good. A little bit of nutmeg in there, but more so of the chai, and that um, is why I bought this. So that was $4.99, and then I was looking for uh, more of the DW Home Candles, and they had, I think they had like Pink Peony, which I'm not really into, um, kind of like, uh, oh, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't really like the pink floral scents, with the exception of Rose. Um, so anyway... I found Fresh Cut Gardenia, and this is the only size of DW Home I will get. It has to be the large, and it has to be the two wick. I found the three wick tunnel, and I found the candles by DW Home with the exception of these little guys here that I just showed you, um, the one wicks. They just don't burn properly, so I guess, yeah, I don't really know how that vanilla spice is going to do burn wise, but this one is the Fresh Cut Gardenia. It's got the two wicks, and you guys... This is the most beautiful grandma floral that you are ever going to run into. I love the scent gardenia. Um, this is definitely going to be one that I am going to save for spring. I was so excited about that. Did I say how much it was? $7.99 comparable to $12. And then I saw this candle and I was just like, who are you? What are you about and can I take you home? So I checked the price and it was $6.99 and I was just like, hmm, A&E. I've never heard of the brand A&E before. It says comparable to $10 and on the bottom of the sticker, which of course they put the TJ Maxx sticker on the bottom there to cover everything, but in very, very, very fine print, I noticed that it says distributed by MVP group international out of charleston south carolina so i knew that this candle had to be a pretty good candle reason being bath and body works candles are distributed by mvp goose creek candles are distributed by mvp um, the Walmart three wick candles are distributed by MVP. So basically all of these candle companies use, I'm not saying all of them, but the majority of them use the MVP, um, distributing group or whatever, or company to make the candles. So all of the candles that you are buying, they're all pretty much made in the same location. Um, but yeah, so this one is, it says A&E, and um, it is in the scent Warm Beechwood, and it's just a one wick, and it smells so good. It smells just like the beach, and the reason why I got this was I love the jar. I love that. I love the raised the raised little doodads on here. And I just thought that it was super pretty and you could use it for a pencil jar. You could use it in your bathroom. You could use it for any Marie Kondo type of situation you have going on. So yeah, so that's why I bought that. But anyway, that is what I found. I kind of wish I would have found more of the body butters, but I did not. And that is okay uh, because I probably have enough to last me a year. But I do give those as gifts occasionally um, to friends and family members also for birthdays and holidays and things of that nature. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So we have to think about Valentine's Day. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any of these products, please leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the content and I will see you guys all later. Bye everyone.